Remember when you were a kid and you had those adventure books? Well, Joe Dever's Lone Wolf is doing that same exact thing again. Let's go. Lone Wolf is based on your decisions, and at the beginning of the game you'll be able to pick up a lot of traits and weapons you'll use. These traits will help you decide what decisions you want to make throughout the whole storyline, and some of the options are very unique. Besides the relatively generic storyline, there are things to spice up gameplay and the storyline itself with all the different choices you can make throughout your time playing. That being said though, you have to do a lot of reading in this video game. If you don't like that, this might not be the game for you. I kinda wish some of the parts or a lot of the parts were voiced. I like reading, but it might not appeal to everyone. Combat's interesting, it's like an RTS mixed with a few quick time events, and you'll have an RTS sequence and then it'll go into a quick time event at the same time, like right here. The fighting is not bad, sometimes it's trial and error, you'll go into a fight very unprepared and have to go back to a checkpoint to make sure you're prepared and then come back and whoop their ass. But What's really cool is the powers at the beginning of the game that you picked, you can actually use in fights. For example, I have an animal one, so I can summon a wolf in battle, which is really cool. What's pretty cool is the environment matches the story. Where you are in the story, that's what environment you're in. Unfortunately, a lot of the environments do look exactly the same. It's like, oh, there's wood planks over here now. Thanks a lot, mom! The environment change, even when you're picking a lock, is a really cool addition. The hand-drawn black and white and moving art looks absolutely fantastic and it was a joy seeing them when they popped up. After devouring your enemy with a mace turning him into a bloody pineapple, you'll be able to take his equipment and put it in your inventory, whether it be health, new armor, gear, and anything of that nature. Throughout your journey, you'll find merchants. Here, you can upgrade your equipment, sell or buy equipment, as well as stash things. You can stash a certain amount of things, which becomes helpful later in the game. Considering this is a $15 game, the longevity is great. With many different ways you can play, you can even go back and play it a totally different way, and that's awesome. What might throw some people off is there is a lot of reading in this game, so if you're not a huge fan of that, you might want to turn away. I wish there was a lot more voice acting in this game so more people would be tuned to listen in and keep playing the game. And as well as the architecture and the game design. If there was a lot more levels, like a lot more areas that really seem unique to one another, that would be a lot more pleasing. I think Lone Wolf achieves at what it was trying to be, a essentially a choose your own adventure book with an RTS function, and I think all around it did pretty well. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 on, um, uh, Gramo, uh, what, what did I name it? Oh, it's been so, game aside. Wait, 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 wait. And you can change font and the language of your script. That's cool. Bye guys.